Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, yet another episode of Expert Talk series on product management of ISBR Business School. Today with us, we have Mr. Gerij Sharma. He is a pass out of IFMR. He has worked as a senior product manager at Jana Small Finance Bank. He has also worked as AVP of products at Indusind Bank and is currently working at Wells Fargo as a senior product manager. He is skilled in product lifecycle, new product development, amongst others. We welcome you, sir. Pleasure to have you. Thank you. Yes, sir. So, uh, so sir, to you know, to start with the interview, uh, what subjects did you like in product management? Ah, uh, so I never studied product management as a course. To be true, it's more of a practical experience. I think which uh, has come along the way. I say I was fortunate enough to start my journey as a product person, uh, starting with my. Uh, management trainee days in Jana Small Finance Bank. I I I I landed up into a team which used to handle products over there into retail segment, and from there I I somehow got stuck to it. Um, um uh, product was never my first wish. Product was never something which I always dreamt of it. I I I had a lot of interest towards uh, branding and. Ogilvy is somewhere where I worked, and from there I I started getting too much inclination towards branding. But somehow I think this was the destiny. But as 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 when I started getting into product, I I, I enjoyed it a lot. So I'll not be able to speak specifically on what subjects I would say because I today also don't know that what what subjects are there as a product management. But uh, to answer this, I think it's more about couple of things to keep it in mind and if anyone who is a product manager if he understands or has a keen interest in the product strategy understands uh, what is the need of a product why how does a product scale up uh, how does a product uh, is taken to a market so go to market approach over it and uh, one of the most important parameters as a product manager is to engage with all the stakeholders so if you somehow can uh learn a lot in managing the stakeholders because that would be the prime prime job for you and trust me that's something which which would be the most difficult part to do in the product the rest all can be figured it out so all these things and definitely now there are so many courses mm, you start getting into agile development you start getting into cloud development so anything which is a keen interest to your technology any, anything which you like right so that's that's great um so sir um what does success and failure look like in a product manager's life i think every day is a success or a failure uh, even the days panned out where uh, you might find success in one hour and a failure in another but at the end if if you're addressing a need of a customer and and if that need is something which you think is 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 making anything easier for the customer is one of the biggest success as a product manager you will feel it uh but yeah no, it's not only about the customer you also have to keep in mind about the business vision that you are working upon because uh, at the end it's about the pnl of the product uh, uh, how the how the product is making money uh, you can burn money initially but at the end of the day how you will be evaluated is uh, is your product really making money uh that's one part there can be products which do not make money but if they are uh, addressing a need of something which is non monetary but yet in a part of the vision of the organization then also that can be taken as a success but mm, that's a, that's a bigger picture of a success and a failure but on a day to day activity is a small feature getting addressed a small uh, a small sync which is happening with the stakeholders if if people uh, you had couple of meetings and finally you have come along and you have got a concurrence on a feature from everyone so these are small small successes you enjoy in a day or two uh, there's there's some bug which has come up and your team is all up and they just simply uh, get that bug done so that's also a small success so you just evaluate it at that basis yeah. okay so that uh, you know that gives a lot of uh, clarity so you know so while we were talking to various students who get uh, like you know want to get into product management we found out that you know uh, there is a myth that uh, you know uh, product management is meant for engineers is that true and uh, how difficult is it for somebody from a, you know from non engineering background to get into it or to pursue a career okay. in like you know in product management 
so i come from it uh, from an engineering background so i uh, i i can i think but but i'll not be biased to this and i believe that that's uh, that's not true uh, yeah technology engineering if you have worked in the past that can help you uh, to some extent the reason being is that when there is uh there's something being discussed and uh, th- so so how does product basically product product requirements or product ideally comes up into picture is there's a business side of the product and then there's a technology side of the product you you as if you, even if you're not a technology person you'll easily understand the business side because that's where the need is getting addressed and that's where the 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 role of the product uh, comes into existence um I, I I love one of uh, one of the things which I think Steve Jobs said uh, uh, way down in 1990s is that uh, it should be customers' need which should be paired up with the technology rather than a technology paired up with the cus- with the product. So if you're addressing a customer need, I think for that you don't need any any engineering background or that that anyone can do it. But yeah, engineering will help you to some extent because whenever there are discussions happening on the technology front, there is something. happening on the on 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 let's take an example something on the cloud is being discussed something on uh, structures jsons or any javascript is being discussed you might be able to connect it or take it into your back of the head at a at a better speed than compared to someone who does not have that but yeah, i uh, i think uh, there's a, there's a lot of scope and uh, what is a product manager yeah product manager is simply a liaison between all the ones so even if technology is not very strong forte of you there are other parts if you are able to manage those parts i think you can easily learn technology so not a myth but yeah somehow technology helps you in to, to some extent correct okay all right um so as you mentioned about you know uh, steve jobs uh, i had come across one article you know which said that there are around 60000 product managers in india in comparison to around 1.8 million in america so uh, you know so what is The, like you know uh, uh, what skill set do the product managers in india lack in comparison to the product managers in america what would be your thoughts on this uh i'll not say that there's any lack in indian product managers uh it's more about the approach that we need to follow uh and and i can i i, I believe it should be the other way around because uh, someone who has worked in the indian market he has a better understanding and uh, i i i come from banking background and i've worked on banking products only so i'll my my answers or my thought process would be more inclined towards that kind of an industry and i believe indian banking industry is way 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 ahead that any other banking industry in the world uh, what we do in india in the banking industry and and uh, uh, how do i say that is because i worked on both sides now i worked in indian bank side now with the us bank and i can okay those people will now listen to me on that but yeah that's a different thing but i believe that still i i and i vouch it a lot that indian banking industry is way ahead so there's no lack of it uh, there are a couple of things which we can uh, think and that what i've learned in last one year over here is that those people have a better approach of taking the things up uh, they are quite open minded for the changes uh, they they are agile in nature so when you say agile they they, they make changes uh, whenever they are required to it but it's more about that uh, thing what 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 uh, indians uh, are not so if they have build up an idea they just start taking that idea up uh, that's not true with everyone but yeah to some extent some people have some industries you see in indian market that's where the products are running right now but uh, uh let's not uh, let the indian product managers should not be more replicating what is already happening in the industry it should be more of an innovation which should come up which i think is better on to that side of the world so innovation is something which happens over there but yeah i'll still say that yeah if it's banking if it's something like fintech something like uh, happening anywhere uh, around the world in the finance i think indian product managers are doing a, a much better job that is great to hear that is really great to hear so um so what is the demand that you foresee for for you know for product managers in india say in the next 10 years uh so i think how this can be seen is that uh india is moving from a service based industry to a product industry now uh, we were known as some ones who were in the service industries and big giants like infosys wipro tcs they have done it for years and years and that's what which has given uh, recognition to 
sorry yeah am i on now yeah so that's what uh, i think what has given recognition to indians in the in the in, in world that uh, what indians are capable for but there's a shift which has happened now so from the service industry it's more about products which are coming up yeah there are things that today everything has been uh, tagged as a product so even if you are not really a product manager the jds or something you see on linkedin everywhere it's written product 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 just to get that attraction on to it but the real product managers are really required in the market and the world is going to accept uh, indian products that's going to happen in couple of years to come forward so if that's going to happen definitely you need product managers and i and that's what i say indians are street smart so uh, someone who's a street smart uh, is is will do a better job in product because at the end it's all about managing things and uh um, they say now that jugad is something you'll have to figure it out so that's what and so so i see a lot of demand coming into place i see a lot of things going to happen in the in the coming years it's all about how do we take that opportunity and how well we ride this wave along with the industry it's going on that's great so um so as you say that the demand would be increasing as and when the years like you know when the years uh, pass by so uh, how important would a course like a product management be okay so again i said i've never done a course so i can't say on that but i think uh, what what we really do in mba is that we build some foundations for us uh, i have done it when i was doing it you guys are doing it right now similarly every mba school uh, you take any top universities any 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 of the ones you hardly use uh, so whatever you learn you keep that as a foundation background for yourself and you build on that foundation background and that's what uh, these uh, these these all grads post grad uh, courses teach you so i believe something like this course would help uh, help the student build that foundational background um if if i believe that Uh, if i if i recall my first day or my couple of initial months in it i was not aware about the terms which were being used in the industry i was not aware uh, what was being discussed so i had to go back get, get back to my mentors read somewhere that okay if they are talking about this uh, uh, acronym if they are talking about this variable how does that happen so anything of this kind of a course would help them in building that foundations uh you you guys any everybody re- reads kotler okay but you don't implement kotler right uh, out in the market the way it's written over there but the best it does is that it gives you that foundational background to at least connect on what is being discussed over there so a course like this will give you that foundation i would say a course with a practical experience whether it's a small uh, dummy product that you are creating a small dummy project that you want to get into small internships that going to happen now with this covid coming in there's a lot of virtual internships that are happening so something if that gets along with the course it will be much more beneficial because then what you do is you build that foundation and you see getting it implemented somewhere so i think that that, that can be a better idea but yeah anything uh, prior knowledge is always good so there's nothing bad in having a knowledge so a course would definitely help a, uh, the student build that knowledge from there correct absolutely correct i do agree that you know a foundation is needed um so sir uh, before we like you know uh, before we end the interview uh, you know uh, do you have a small message for like you know for the budding students on getting product management or for those who like you know who want to get into the product line okay uh, so i don't know whether i i have that kind of uh, expertise or that kind of wisdom to give a uh, Uh, give a message but what i believe is that uh, be 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 open to ideas be an explorer uh, go with the flow uh, you might see product as a very uh, very attractive you might not land up into product at a very first go but be open to ideas somehow if you are contributing to it if you are able to innovate on it you finally will end up there wherever you want to be uh but uh, as a product uh, person whosoever is coming up and if there's a budding person who is going to move straight out of his mba to such roles uh keep your initial years as as open minded because i i believe the ones who start 
start start being in the industry their mind starts thinking in those lines whereas the ones who come new to in the industry they have a more open mind frame of thinking about the ideas so i believe that anyone who is a budding product manager is the best one to give an idea because they are quite open to it they have not seen other path uh, someone who is a veteran or someone who is an experienced enough he comes up with lot of risk in his mind because he goes back uh, something might have happened at that time so let's not do this thing but a uh, budding one to it so i believe that something uh, which can be done so be open be innovative yeah uh, that that's all try exploring as much as you explore at the end definitely it will be there with you right sir thank you i guess i guess that gives a lot of clarity and i'm sure the viewers must have taken down you know uh, some notes uh, while watching this uh, we would like to thank you for taking out time out of your busy schedule for this like you know for this interview session and thank you viewers for for you know for tuning into this episode uh, tune in for more episodes thank you thank you so much guys all the best